Now your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, let's take a look at the rain that's out there right now. Heavy rain, a uh, little bit of lightning, not too much with that. It's just been mostly heavy rain moving through Hampton Roads. Uh, downpours at times, and now it's reached northeast North Carolina, so it's made it into Moyoc, uh, Currituck, and also down to Elizabeth City. So uh, and right now, again, over the Moyoc area and Currituck, we're seeing the rain. <clears throat> this is coming out of St. Bride's, Creed's, Blackwater, so that the heaviest rain has dropped south now from there. And we've got lighter rain for most of Virginia Beach uh, in towards Lanstown, Kemp, the ocean front uh, up to Allenton and over into Norfolk, Portsmouth. I mean, it's a, it's just widespread rain, but it's also a heavy downpour in here. Uh, this is al almost all of Portsmouth seeing the heavy rain at the moment from Craney Island to downtown and uh, on southward, even south of 264, uh, south of Craddock. And then we've got more heavy rain, Western Branch over into northern Suffolk, uh, south of um, the, uh, uh, pardon me, the naval base. We've got some very heavy downpours as well in Norfolk. And then into the peninsula, it was very heavy over Newport News a little while ago. Uh, now a lot of that's dropped south. So from downtown southward, mostly over the Bonnet of Merrimack, that's where the heaviest rain is. Lighter rain now for Hampton, Newport News, and Pocosin up to Gloucester Point. Uh, you go east of Wareneck, and that's where we got some rain showers still falling. It's not as heavy as it was over Mob Jack Bay, Bavon, uh, Beaverlet, and also into Hudgens, uh, some light showers. And the eastern shore, you know, you've been skirted by this rain here a little bit. Some light showers moving over you, but it's already moving out to sea, so not much there. These showers continue, they break up a little bit, but they'll continue. Continue up through 8 a.m., maybe even uh, 9 a.m., and then as we go through the rest of the day, partly cloudy with just a few stray showers and storms. The heat's going to be the next part of the story, though. Highs in the 90s this afternoon. We're partly cloudy overnight. Things should be fairly quiet, maybe a stray shower. And then tomorrow, well, it's going to be hot and humid with partly cloudy skies. Again, popping up, maybe a stray shower storm in the region, but uh, much less rain expected for tomorrow. It's an upper level low sitting over us today. That's what's causing those showers. Right now, temperatures are in the 70s. We have rain falling. It's warm and it's muggy outside. Later today, again, once the rain breaks up, the sun's going to pop out and heat us up to 91 in Nags Head, 93 in Elizabeth City, 94 in Edenton. But look at the heat index, 98 to 101. That's what it's going to feel like with the heat and humidity combined. 92, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Portsmouth, 94 in Chesapeake, 93 in Suffolk. Hot and humid after we get rid of these showers this morning. Partly cloudy for the afternoon, maybe just a stray shower then. Upper 80s in Pocosin. Hampton, 92 Newport News, 96 in Williamsburg, and we go to the eastern shore. We got upper 80 Chincoteague, 90 in Melfa, 89 Cape Charles, and 92 in Gloucester. In the tropics, things fairly quiet, but I'm tracking that one disturbance over in the eastern Atlantic. It's got a medium chance for development over the next few days as it rolls west. Uh, some computer models again put it into the central Atlantic away from us, but we'll keep an eye on it. Seven day forecast, hot and humid for the next three days. No doubt about it. Tomorrow, 94, even hotter than today. And then going into Sunday, we'll see some isolated shower storms late in the day. Could see some storms though by the evening as a cold front rolls through. It's going to cool us down though. Monday and Tuesday, highs will be near 80, maybe even some upper 70s.